it's not easy I'll be honest uh, my wife is is the one that keeps me going because um, I, I you know I, I don't feel like I'm contributing to be honest and then for my mental sake I, I go to the gym of a morning she goes to work I go to the gym and uh, just do a workout at the gym to try to keep my you know sanity I guess I'm Mike Boyd I'm uh, 57 now it had a hodgepodge of jobs a lot of different careers but the banking I got into that uh, back in the mid 80s and spent quite a while there it was a company that had been fa basically family owned for over a hundred years but the family decided to sell the company and uh, uh, a company from Chicago bought them outside, outside the Chicago area bought the company and um, as they when they came in they still like I said just started uh, eliminating departments at that point I didn't feel job security was there decided to go back to get my education finish my education rather and um, uh, go into teaching so teaching was something I always had in the back of my head I would like to do in 2005 when I decided to go back to college full-time and finish my degree so that I could become a teacher um, I think it's probably right around the time maybe shortly after there the housing market started going a little bit bananas um, jobs started drying up a little bit um, unfortunately after I left the bank and I got my degree in time for the budget issues in California to really go bananas and they basically in California I believe it was a year ago laid off nearly 30,000 teachers statewide I knew it wasn't going to be good but I thought there might be enough maybe in the private school sector to where I could possibly get a job in, in a private school someplace but if I'm guessing it was a, do a domino effect where the teachers from the public school are gone and so the teachers in the private schools are thinking at least I've got a job I'm not going anywhere you know so I think that caused a dry caused a lot of the jobs in private schools to dry up I actually finished my degree through a university in Virginia and online studies and uh, was able to get my bachelor's through them and that they'll see my, my resume I graduated from college in 2009 and they'll assume that oh this guy's probably 25 26 years old you know and I walk in and I'm obviously not 25 26 years old and uh, uh, well fortunately my wife is working and uh, she's got a job she's got enough seniority to where she's pretty secure with the school district here where she teaches um, and I spend about six to eight hours minimum a day on the computer hitting every website I can think of looking for jobs uh, contacting people anybody I might know who has a, has a clue I think I have 270 responses of, for jobs I've applied to and there's you know, so I'm gonna easily two to three times that many that I've applied to so I'm gonna guess you know, it's five six hundred jobs it's not as easy as it was when I was working also obviously um, but with the one income we're we're managing to get by to get up of a morning and watch my wife leave for work at six o'clock in the morning to go teach and I know I've got nothing to do unless they happen to call me to sub for that day it's the same old same old again get on the computer and start do the searches hit indeed.com hit career builder hit the different companies websites uh, any website you can think of where people are posting job openings you know to try to find something and and that's to me a, another part that's so depressing is when you go on these mega websites for that post jobs and then you go to the company whose job this company has posted and they don't have the job posted so it's like why am I even looking at some of these things you know because they're, they're posting jobs that aren't there but no I've not found any kind of satisfaction through it